Hello everyone, my name is Tyler West. I'm the executive chef here at the MetLife account in Charlotte, and today we're going to be showing you how to make a chicken parmesan. It's a real easy meal to make at home, and it's pretty fast. Uh, the first thing we want to do is start our marinara sauce. I've already got the pan hot with olive oil in it. It's very important to always cook in a hot pan. So I've got some diced onion and minced garlic. Get that going. We're just going to let that saute for a few minutes and uh, cook down and get translucent until the onions are soft. So now the onions and garlic have sauteed for about three or four minutes and they're getting nice and soft and translucent. So it's time for us to add our crushed tomatoes. These will splatter, so I like to get a little close. Try to pour it in gently. I'm also going to add salt. Of dried oregano, crushed red pepper. Now this is a very, very basic marinara recipe. You can feel free to, uh, you know, jazz it up all you'd like. When we were sauteing the onion and garlic, you could very easily add in bell pepper or mushroom. Uh, at this stage, you could add in some red wine. And what I'm going to do is add in a fresh herb bouquet. It's got some fresh oregano, fresh rosemary, and thyme. We're gonna get that in there and bring this to a simmer and just let that ride for, honestly, you can let this go for a couple of hours, but I'd say at least 30 minutes. That's why we wanted to get this started first. Whenever I'm cooking chicken Parmesan, I always like to have a nice thin chicken breast. So I've covered the breast here on a cutting board with saran wrap to keep the chicken juices from splattering everywhere whenever I pound it. So you just wanna pound it lightly. up with a nice thinly pounded chicken breast. So the next step is going to be to make our breader for our chicken. I'm going, I've got some breadcrumbs here and I'm going to add Parmesan, parsley, salt, pepper, uh, garlic, and dried oregano. We're just going to give that a little mix. And this will be our breader for our chicken. It's seasoned and has some Parmesan and parsley in there. It ought to come out real nice. The next thing we're gonna wanna do is make our egg wash. It's very simple, just a couple of eggs. You just whisk these together, almost as if you're going to scramble them. that's it that's your basic egg wash so now that we have our chicken pounded our egg wash made and our bread are made up we're gonna go ahead and bread the chicken you just take the chicken cutlet put it in the egg wash make sure it gets coated really well let it drip so we don't make our breading soggy put it right here in the breading push push that breadcrumb onto it really well so it sticks have a breaded chicken cutlet ready for frying for the uh, chicken parmesan guys. Now that we have our chicken cutlets all breaded and ready to go, I've also got my oil hot in the pan so we're ready to start frying this chicken. Always make sure you place it in here gently as to not splash the hot oil on yourself. So we're just going to let these fry up until they're nice and golden brown and then we'll flip them over and finish them off. So now that these chicken cutlets are getting nice and golden brown, we're going to gently flip them over. Always go gently as to not burn yourself. Splatter grease, no good. Very gently flip these over. This one's got a little bit longer here. So now's a good time to go ahead and get our pasta started. I've got the water boiling. There's a little salt in there. Just drop your pasta in and make sure you're stirring it so that the noodles don't all stick together. And uh, whenever you're doing this, it's always important to be very careful that you don't splash this water into this pan with this oil because that can lead to grease fire and all sorts of things. You wanna be very careful 
whenever you're adding this pasta and stirring it, that you do not splash the water into the oil pan. So now that we've got these chicken cutlets nice and uh, golden brown on both sides, I always like to place them on paper towels to let a little bit of that grease soak up. Yeah. Oh yeah, these are looking really good. So now that our pasta is cooked, we're just gonna strain it off in this colander here. You can always uh, resort to the box that the pasta came in for cooking times. And you could also do the old Italian method where you throw it up against the wall and see if it sticks. Just let this strain off really well and we'll get right back to it. All right, so we have our chicken uh, breaded up and fried up here. Our marinara sauce is all done, so I'm gonna pull this uh, herb bouquet that I put in there out. And we're just gonna spoon a little bit of this marinara right on top of this chicken here. Now I will say I do have my oven preheated to 375 already. So once we get this sauce on here, we're gonna put this fresh mozzarella cheese on and throw it right in the oven until that gets nice and melted. In the oven. So now that this is ready, we're just gonna pop it in. That'll ride for three to four minutes until that mozzarella gets nice and melted. Now to plate the pasta, you wanna take about a quarter of it and put on the plate here. Put a little sauce on there. So this cheese is good and melted, starting to get a little color on it. That's how we know we're ready to go. And the last step will be to plate this chicken right on top of the noodles here. If you have any leftover parsley, you can always hit it with a little bit of chopped parsley for a garnish on the end. And that, folks, is chicken parmesan. On behalf of everyone here in MetLife in Charlotte, we sure hope you enjoyed the video and maybe this dish will become a household favorite. Thank you.